All entries to the capital secured. Police say they're searching for knives, machetes or any illegal weapons that these provincial passengers may be carrying on their way to Lima. Police are on high alert hours before a nationwide protest to demand a change of government. We can protest without violence. It's our right in the Constitution. More than 8,000 police are being deployed on Wednesday to protect Lima. Rights groups say their powers to search are unconstitutional. This is not a harassment. It's a preventative security measure to guarantee, not slam, people's rights. Since President Dina Boluarte took office in December, rights groups have documented the deaths of 49 people they say were shot by security forces. A todos los hermanos, a on Tuesday, Boluarte called on demonstrators for unity and to march peacefully. But the government has warned it will use legitimate force against violence. Entonces ahora no entendemos. We don't understand why they will again announce their arrival, waving the flag of war and trying to take over the center. It's a threat to democracy, and we will not allow or accept this. Critics say the government's measures inflict fear in the population. Millions of Peruvians are increasingly frustrated with a government they say is unable to resolve health and economic issues. Many are going to join in the protest because they say the only way for President Boluarte to go is by forcing her out. Opinion polls say 80% of Peruvians want Boluarte to resign and 90% want Congress to close. Elections are in due for another three years. Analysts say the economy is entering a recession. Unrest since December has reduced the GDP by more than $1 billion. The government is weak. It doesn't connect with the people's demands. And with such a low approval, the protest could deepen the crisis, affecting the government's legitimacy. If human rights are not respected, the situation is going to get more complex. That's causing the government's reaction ahead of the protests. The government extended a state of emergency for another month. Tensions are high ahead of Wednesday's protests. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima.